Good morning, grade 11. Inshallah, today you will explain a chemistry lesson which is alkenes. What the meaning of alkenes? Alkenes, they are, they are a part of hydrocarbons. But here in hydrocarbon, we have abbreviation E and E, which means unsaturated. Unsaturated. Hydrocarbons. What the meaning of unsaturated hydrocarbons mean? They contain C double bond C. One of the bonds they are sigma bond, very strong bond, and the other bond is bi bond. One of them is sigma bond, and the other is bi bond, which is weak, so we can break this bond and we form a new bond. This is one which we call the unsaturated. Number two. The general equation of alkenes CNH2N. Well, the meaning of CNH2N means if you choose two in the carbon, it will be in hydrogen four. If you choose three in hydrogen, it will be six. This is the meaning of alkenes. This is number one. They are unsaturated hydrocarbons. Number two the equation C3H6. We will see in the book a part of these hydrocarbons. Number one, here, how we can get the alkenes, how can we prepare alkenes? Number one, by cracking. The cracking of other hydrocarbons um, in the uh, lab we can prepare this alkenes. Here we have some equations of alkenes, such as the addition. What do we mean of addition? Addition means to add. To add. Addition here can be used by the double bond. Of course, we talked before in alkenes, it can't accept the addition because it contains one single bond but in alkenes it can add it can accept the addition by using the double bond we will see an example of this double bond here for example in addition reaction if we have here C double bond C. Here is H, H, and here is H, and here is H. Okay? We have here double bond plus hydrogen. This is called the hydrogen. Hydrogenation, right? Here we will add by using the nickel in a hot tube, of course. This hydrogen will be added. One, we will break number one. This bond. We will break this bond. Number two, we will add this hydrogen. This hydrogen, it will be hydrogen like this. We make an initiation. We will break the bond between the hydrogen and the change into radical. Then they will be added. This hydrogen will be added here, and this hydrogen will be added here. So it will form C single bond C, and for the all the hydrogen like this. They are the old hydrogen. Now, the bond which we opened this, it will form the new hydrogen. Of course, this reaction can be used in making the butter, in making the, in the uh, for hydrogenation of oil, and in making the butter. Okay, this one. By using this, we can open an area of the ethene to change it from ethene or ethylene, of course to ethene, which is saturated hydrocarbons. This is number one. Number two, after addition, if you need to make another point, not like the addition here, of course, we have addition of steam, another type of addition, addition of steam. What the meaning of addition of steam Addition of steam to add water. How can we add the water? Of course, we have here in temperature 300, 330 degree. Okay, 
and will in the presence of H3PO4, phosphoric acid, it will add by the water, we will add H2O, there will be added here H2O, we will write, for example, this is H2O, H here, and OH. Number one, we will break the bond between the hydrogen and the OH, we will break this bond, and we will break the bond in the carbon-carbon. Then we will add hydrogen for this side and OH in this side. So it will form alcohol. Alcohol. This is called the ether ethanol. This is called ethanol. In this way, we can add number two, which is the steam. We can add steam. But in the presence of, in the presence of what? We must present here the phosphoric acid. Phosphoric acid to absorb the excess water. Okay, this one. Number three, HX. So here we have number one, we add the steam. Number two, we will add HX. What's the meaning of HX? HX means any hydrogen alkene, any hydrogen halide, for example. Hydrogen halide, what do mean? Hydrogen halide means HCl, we can add HCl, we can add HBr, we can add HI, HF, anything of them, we can add them to make the hydrogen halide to alkene. Like what? Here, C double bond C. Here is H, H, and here is hydrogen, hydrogen. Plus, for example, HBr. HBr. We will add number one, we will break the bond between the HBr here, we'll break the bond, and at the same time, we'll break the bond between carbon, carbon. So, hydrogen, this is hydrogen, will be transferred to this side, and the Br will transfer to this side. One of this carbon will take the hydrogen and the other carbon will take the bromide. So it will be C, single bond C, the old hydrogen, old hydrogen, and now we will add from this side H and from this side Br. This is called the ethene or ethylene we, I will start. And here is a halogen I came, like Bromoethane. This is what we call bromoethane. Bromoethane. This is halogen alkane. Okay? Halogen alkane, bromoethane. Okay? This one. Number two, if we add the Br2, mean we add halogens, not halogen alkane, not uh, halogen halide. No, no, no. The addition at the next time, it's a Br2, by addition of Br2, Cl2, I2. This is called the addition of halogen itself, meaning we have two atoms will be added. For example here, if we have ethylene as the last time, and we will add for example, Cl2. This time will be added Cl2. Number two in this, the second step. Of course, we have initiation and termination and the propagation and termination. We will break this Cl and Cl and this Cl bond Cl. We will add this Cl here in this type and another Cl to this carbon. So it will form.
looking at 